Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Galaxy Note 8, which we first saw at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona this February. This is a polycarbonate plastic tablet, just like its Galaxy siblings. It's made of a pristine white glaze, very curvaceous at 11.92 ounces. With a resolution of 1280 by 800, it does make for some awesome colors and great saturation. But its LCD display, despite having great whites, is no comparing to HD. It's running on Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, has a quad core 1.6 GHz processor and 2 GB of RAM. You'll find a front-facing camera of 2 megapixels and a rear-facing camera of 5 megapixels. Don't forget the two bottom-facing speakers as well as the home button and the soft keys. What we are taking a closer look at today is the incredible software that is really optimized for the note-taking, multitasking, and productivity. That's because, just like the Note 2, the Note 8 has an S Pen that fits just nicely here in the Note 8's body. It brings a lot of functionality to the different apps that are pre-installed on here like Polaris Office or another one is A Note HD for all of your organizational needs. Now the S Pen works on the soft buttons as well so there's no need to use your fingers. It has a side button and is pressure sensitive. The Galaxy Note's main highlight is its multitasking thanks to the multi-window capacity. You can drag the browser, email, or anything from the multitasking bar here on the side and onto the screen. Here we drag Chrome. It's kind of like using Microsoft Windows. You don't have to switch between apps. Now let's add another one. This time, video. You can even do pinch in, pinch out. It's pretty easy to use. With the video, you can drag your S Pen along the timeline um, to go back and forth between scenes, as you can see here. And then you can also create the floating video. Okay, let's grab another app, this time Google Maps, and again Chrome. So now we have Chrome, Google Maps, and video. Now we open up the messages where you'll see the normal TouchWiz keyboard. It has many different setting options like the floating keyboard. And then click on options again, settings again, and that way you can have the split keyboard which really makes typing with the tablet easier. The main app for note taking is the S Note which is great and it fulfills its purpose. You can scribble notes, add videos, and audio recordings. The S Pen itself is very comfortable to hold and it's pressure sensitive. A cool aspect is that if you rest your palm on the screen and touch the stylus to the display, it will reject the pressure of your palm and focus on the pen. Obviously, you have air view here as well to check what the different functions do. Like you see here, if you press it, the stylus down harder, the line will become thicker. Another cool thing that you can do with the S Pen, though this isn't something new to the Samsung Galaxy Note line, is take screenshots. By simply pressing on the button found on the, on the side of the S Pen, you can draw around whatever you want to capture, then share it via social networks, email, or even S Note. Samsung usually fills its devices to the rafters with cool features, which we've just seen with the S4. The Note 8, like the Note 2, has AirView, which allows you to preview emails, messages, or pictures from the gallery by floating the S Pen over top of the targeted object. Thanks for stopping in for a quick overview of the Galaxy Note 8. If you're looking for something for multitasking, multifunctional, then the Galaxy Note 8 could be the tablet for you. It's great for note taking, has many great pre-installed apps. It's now available in the US as well as in Europe. That's it for today. Check us out at androidpit.com.